Hello, welcome back to another podcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority, and today in episode eight, we will snap two matrices horizontally to a canvas. I have here a basic model where I have a matrix called plant forecast. This is where, for instance, a user would go in and enter values of what they expect the forecast to be by month for each one of these plants that are listed here. And one thing that we would maybe want to have if we were to provide a user interface to make, uh, enter some information into a matrix is we'd possibly want to have something other than just ones and ones here for months and, and plant IDs. So what we could do is we could add another category here. I'm going to insert a category and sorry you can't see that on my little screen here but say I called this uh, forecast values okay and if I wanted another one that I really wanted to add the plant name and have it visible here so then in, in for plant one we'd call that the Oak City plant maybe plant two we'd call that the Henry Mountains plant and so on that's fine in the fact that it allows me to see what what plant it is but in order to get that to populate in all the subsequent months I would need to use some recursion uh, create a formula but then I would be repeating the name over and over again for every one of these months and for me that's just not necessarily a clean way to do it so instead of doing it that way I would then I'd like to create another matrix that would really house like my plant info it would hold house maybe more information than just the plant name maybe it's going to hold something like the square footage when the plant started uh, what its operating hours are so on and so forth so in order to do that I would create another matrix here with some metrics across the top and we'll just call these metrics and I have name already listed and I have square footage but to link that to plant forecast all I need to do is take the plant ID and drag it over here and you can see now that as I do so uh, plant for this plant ID is linked to the plant forecast matrix so with that being said I could then type in whatever what other names uh, I would have so I think I called uh, number two Henry and and three we could call the Kanosh plant or whatever okay now this is fine and dandy in the fact that I'm able to I have two different matrices now and I can compare them side by side and I can go ahead and see what the name is for each one and, and then I can populate the corresponding values but instead of having to really update two different matrices it would be awesome if I could get it all just in one matrix so that name was kinda and, and square footage or whatever I decide to show here is mashed together with plant forecast but have it not appear in every month as we saw what would need to happen if I were to add another category here so what I can do is I can go ahead and I can uh, create a canvas and make this happen by snapping some things together so <clears throat> what I do is I have the canvas and what I want to do is I want to bring in the plant forecast to the canvas so I should be able to just click and drag that you can see that's what happened brought in the plant forecast and then I want to bring in the plant information so that when I'm entering it I know what what plant ID is what plant and so on so again I put these both together here on the same canvas kinda kinda arrange them this way and then when I click them I I'm gonna hit my shift key I believe it is I'm gonna hit my shift key and and click and that allows me to select have a multiple selection and then I'm gonna right click when I have those selected and I'm going to say view snap and it's going to give me an option to snap it horizontally and then it's going to give me a, a kind of a wordy message here and basically all this is saying is do you want to hide the rotors of the second secondary view so do you want to hide these rows right here and if you do go ahead and click that and do you want to collapse the spacing between the two views and you can go ahead and unclick that or leave it clicked and you can see the different results but once I have those both things selected I click finish and you can see that now I have a one solid complete view of my name uh, attached to uh, my name and my square footage or my plant info attached to my plant forecast as seen here and anytime I make a change to this so let's call this the full 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 creek facility <clears throat> I would see that that would pop populate actually over here in plant info and I could then make any values I wanted to this facility and I would expect to see that also back in forecast 
So that is how you snap two matrices together horizontally using Quantrix Modeler and maybe a, a, a brief explanation of why you'd want to make that happen. If you have any questions about Quantrix Modeler, uh, please feel free to reach out to me at uh, quantrixauthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix and it is a totally powerful tool. And uh, thanks for watching Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez and please join me again next time.